Hello everyone, welcome to Shadow of Colossus on the PS4. This is the remake, and I want to thank PlayStation for providing a review copy. Now I want to talk about the Resist the Wrist Trophy. It's for defeating the third Colossus without breaking his wrist guard. Now normally when you do this encounter, you get him to break the wrist guard that's on his right arm that allows you to climb up the arm. You get him to break the wrist guard by having him slam the sword onto the stone circle. Well, you need to defeat this without breaking his wrist guard, so we're not going to let him slam his sword on the stone uh, circle. Instead, we're going to have to jump above and over the wrist guard, and it's not necessarily difficult, but it's extremely frustrating. So here's what I'm going to do. He's going to get his sword, sword stuck in the ground here, and I'm going to run up the tip here, and then I'm going to, as soon as I enter it, I'm going to make sure I'm centered on the sword here, and I'm going to hold the grip button. That'll allow me to kneel. Now what happens is I get flung backwards, I grab the end of it, and then I allow that momentum to uh, carry me up and over. I do a jump and up over this wrist guard here. Now what I was trying to do and a lot of people will, will probably do is, now I was able to do it this way a couple times so it is definitely repeatable, but what a lot of people will do is stay on the sword, maybe even a little further up from the ground where I was at, maybe closer between the ground and to where the first crack is on the sword, or even closer to that. And what they do is you, you sit there and kneel, and then as he's lifting his sword up, you're going to kind of start, you're going to lose control of yourself. You're going to lose your balance. And then as soon as you gain your balance, assuming you don't get flung off the sword, which very likely will happen, but assuming you don't get flung off the sword, as soon as you regain your balance, you let go of the uh, grip button, and you run forward a couple seconds, and then you jump, and your forward momentum again will lift you up and over that wrist guard. So it's it's very tricky to do that. It took I did it about three times over the course of an hour, uh, over and over practicing it, and it's hit or miss. It's very finicky. The timing is, is very specific. It's if you miss it by a fraction of a second, you won't be able to fly up and over the wrist guard. So you're going to have to practice. Now once you do get above the wrist guard, all you need to do is complete this encounter, defeat the Colossus, and you will earn the trophy. Now I'm doing this in time attack uh, mode, which you can access after you complete the game. Uh, you don't have to do in time attack, but time attack will allow you to hit retry, hit the options button retry so you can start over if you want to reset the encounter. So on the normal time attack, there are two points you do have to uh, dig your sword into him on the head and then here at the stomach. Now I've also seen people jump from the sword to the stomach so what they do is they get closer to the hilt and uh, they time it so when the distance is the shortest it is you can leap over. I was able to do it once unfortunately I immediately fell off after that so I wasn't able to capture that. But you can do it uh, a couple different ways Again, once you get to the sword, make sure you're centered on it. Make sure you're holding the grip button as the sword's coming up. After you regain your balance, you can uh, run and jump up over the wrist guard. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button and, of course, subscribe.